Welcome Aquarius Pisces to your March Astro Dice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay. And for those of you who are new to this channel, welcome, welcome. First of all, um, this is where we take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope. Extra entertainment and excitement. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We have the sun coming out as the planet with cancer in the fourth house. Nice. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you. And what is it? It is the sun. It's talking about yourself. Your immortal soul purpose destiny is involved. And being a little self-centered, right? Thinking about myself right now having that sun coming out, which we need to do every now and again, right? You can't always be worried about everybody else. Okay, so we've got cancer going on. This is the energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, loving, and it may concern family, a mother, or a child. So it's almost like you out there doing everything that you can for your purpose, your destiny, for your family. Oh, how lovely, how lovely. Yes, I'm sorry I have to worry about myself right now because I have a family to feed. I have a child that needs me, right? Can't be worried, you know, about everything else. I've got to do this for myself and for my family. Okay, going straight into the fourth house. And that's really what it is. Look at that, the fourth house, your home and your roots and being definitely worried about your family. I remember friends... <clears throat> This doesn't resonate with you since it is a, a, um, a general reading. You know, you don't have children or any of that stuff. Um, you can always watch your regular readings. Um, your rising, your moon, or your Venus, right? So, and they don't come up for you. Okay. So, but definitely talking about the family over here and the homestead. So maybe, you know, it's like, hey, you know what? I My purpose over here is that I need to get this new roof. Could just be just as simple as that, my friends. I need a new roof because we have a leak and I do not want the baby falling in water. Right? I mean, just the simplest little things can come out of these readings. But they're important, right? Because you don't want the baby getting wet. Especially if it's just crawling. You don't want them crawling into stuff. Okay. So I need to renovate. Get my house together. Okay, so getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the first of the month, the mid-month, and the end of the month. So going straight to the first of the month, the beginning of the month. Two of coins. There's a lot of drama going on. Seriously, 100, that's what I heard that I'm going with it. Look at this. Yep, there is drama going on why is there drama there's drama within the household there's drama in the fourth house okay having the seven of coins coming in under that cancer it's like i am preparing and prepping i do not want my family involved in this drama so I'm trying to see my way out of it i'm trying to think of how to get my family you know get my family away from this drama could be the children getting involved in drama. Seven of Staffs. Queen of Swords. Somebody is mad. Could be dealing with a Gemini. That is a Gemini card coming out. Could be a Gemini that is just causing all this drama within your fourth house. Um, and you do not want this drama. Um, especially within your family unit. Um, it is not, this card upside down is not sensitive, it's not caring, it's not loving, it's wicked, wicked mouth, silver tongue. So someone is causing a lot of drama within your homestead and your roots over here. Um, and you are trying your hardest to come to a compromise. But it feels like this is what you're doing. You're trying to think of what to do to make a compromise with this person. Um, you're tired of the drama. Seven of staffs upside down. Well, you don't want to take on this challenge anymore. You're tired of the challenge. You're, you're tired of 
all of this, right? They are not taking any responsibility. You're trying to take on all the responsibilities. Why does that feel that way, right? I'm taking on all the responsibilities at the beginning of the month. I'm preparing to do things while you're sitting over here causing drama with your silver tongue, okay? Queen of Swords upside down, you guys, is super, super cruel, super nasty, okay? Very icy, okay? But it also is showing this also good side of the Queen of Swords, and that's showing your ambition to get out and to try to compromise with this person, okay? So, yes, you are. You're trying to ambitiously take on the responsibilities and compromise with this person for whatever there's going on. Okay, so. Could even be a, for some of you, it could be a teenager. I am hearing a teenager is causing drama within your life. They are not listening. They do not want to take on the responsibilities. They're getting in trouble. They might be sneaking out at night. I am hearing this and you are trying your hardest to compromise with your teenager to make them stay at home, making them understand. Okay. And they are nasty and cruel, cruel, right? The things that they are saying, the things that are spewing from their mouths is nothing nice. Okay, mid-month. Four of Cups, pain. Pain within the soul. Your sole purpose over here is to maintain this family unit. That's really what I'm feeling here, you guys. This is what this is all about. I already see it. The Queen of Cups coming in. You are trying to nurture with, and this is, look at this, this is a cancer card coming into cancer, and this is, this is this card. This is the energy of, of you right now is emotional, sensitive, caring, loving mother or father, sister, brother, aunt, grandmother, whoever this is, right? If you're a grandmother and you're taking care of these kids, it could totally be you, right? I'm telling you, it feels like a rebellious teenager or young adult. And if it's not, then your spouse is acting like a rebellious teenager, young adult, okay? Plain and simple. Because the energy that I'm getting is rebellious teenage attitude. I don't care how old they are, right? Or a rebellious child. Okay? So going that way. It's the energy. And it's giving you nothing but four of cups because you're trying your hardest over here with the sun to pick up the pieces. To be the sun. The sun is the most, you know, is like the most powerful planet in the universe. In the solar system. However, right, every universe has, you know, a solar system. Everybody has a sun. So there, it is you. You are trying to maintain the strength and the power to keep this family unit going. And that's why you're compromising. You're trying everything. You haven't backed down yet. Yes, you're, a, you're sad. You're disappointed. Nine of swords, but you're trying not to keep yourself in swords. Just because you're disappointed and you're upset with the four of cups doesn't mean that you haven't given up no if anything you are fighting your queen of cups is right side up it's not upside down there's not showing over emotion no it's showing that you're trying to get through this strong like the sun with the love and the sensitive you know sensitivity going on over here with the nine of swords i have the realization that you know maybe i'm not getting the sleep that i'm supposed to get I'm realizing that, yes, maybe I'm not eating the way I'm supposed to be eating. I understand that my emotions are not 100% where they should be, but I am still strong and keeping myself above water over here, right? Because, look, you're Aquarius, Pisces. What's going to happen if your Pisces side takes over? You're going, you're going down, right? You're going down, and you're not allowing yourself to. You're thinking very logical over here using that beautiful Aquarius side of you as well and saying, no, I'm going to keep my water balanced. 
thinking logically over here without putting too much emotion into it. This is a lot of water with already having Pisces in you, right? So you're really trying to keep yourself balanced. I see you balancing over here. And you guys are on a balancing beam for sure. If I walk over too much this way, balance beam's going this way, right? It's like being on a teeter-totter. That's, yeah. I see you guys on a teeter-totter. If I teeter t too much, I'm going under. Ship's going down. Four of coins. Yes, you're holding tight and with strength in the mid-month to get through this. And it looks like you're even holding strong, you know, yeah, to them as well because you're offering them new, better solutions. You're offering them to do things with you. Trying to hold strong, yeah, seven of swords because you don't want them to deceive you. And you're really paying attention with your, intu your intuition over here uh, with the queen of cups. Really um, paying really good attention because you're watching to see them try to get away with stuff. Yeah. So you're really paying attention so that they don't get away, right? The end of the month, the fool, the chariot, and the page of cups. It's risky business over here. You're taking a leap of faith. The chariot upside down, another cancer. You guys could be dealing with a cancer. Got a lot of water over here. The risky business is staying put, not moving. Chariot is upside down, not moving. I'm with the Page of Cups. Really what I'm seeing here is not moving too forcefully towards them. Grab another card on that. It feels like you're not moving super forcefully towards them. Because um, it feels like when you do move too force, forcefully at them, it just takes them off more. Um, so you're kind of restraining yourself a little bit towards the end of the month. The Queen of Coins um, with the Eight of Cups. It feels like you offered them something. For a lot of you, it looks like you offered them something else to do. It even looks like you might even be taking them out to spend some, it feels like a, it feels like a teenager. And it feels like you're spending more time with them towards the end of the month and offering them things that they want. Um, like getting on their good side. Um, it's like you're. You're taking a different tactic, which, which actually looks really smart here. Um, and the reason is, is because you know that they are rebellious um, and they seem to do everything that you, okay, so if you tell them to do one thing, you know they're going to do the opposite, right? Come on, they're teenagers, right? So it's almost like you kind of gave in towards the end by not moving in strong, like in the mid of the month, you were offering them things, but you were holding strong to your, don't you do this and don't you do that. And, you know, and then watching them, watching them. And then at the end of the month, it's kind of like you took a risk and your risk was to stop holding so tight. And it almost feels like you're offering them the opposite. Um, wow. And this is, it feels like that's what you, you know. So, and I know you shouldn't be rewarded for bad behavior, but it almost feels like, you know, something's up. <sighs> Plain and simple. It almost feels like you kind of grounded them over here. You did all these things. You took the reins. Um, mm, and it's kind of wishy-washy, right? Over here, it's like, I don't want to offer them cups really, um, 
you know, because I don't want to give them for bad behavior, but it feels like that's not what you're doing. It feels like what you're doing is that you're offering more nurturing again, because no matter what, you haven't lost your nurturingness yet. Um, and it feels like what you're doing is you're kind of playing, when you're compromising, you're kind of playing against it, right? So if I tell them not to do this, they're going to do it anyways. So why don't I offer them a day out? Like, it looks like kind of like you could be going to the mall with the queen of coins. Like you're going to go spend money on them. You're going to have a, a mom or a dad day out with the kid or something, or you and your husband are going to go out together and do something. So it's not really in the sense of giving them things for bad behavior. It's more like spending quality time that maybe you feel like they're, maybe they're acting out because they, Look, if they're teenagers and they're supposed to be in school and they're online all the time, the frustration is they're upset. They can't be with their friends. They miss their teachers. Um, they miss, they don't want to be at home 24 seven. They want to be out with their friends at school. So it just feels like you are kind of not giving them or rewarding them for bad behavior. What you're doing is you're in, you're turning the book to say, you know what? Let's go out and have a, a day out. Let's get away from this place. Let's get out of here. We've been locked down for so long and it's just temper, you know, it's just like tempers rising. And so it feels like that's what you're doing. And maybe that's what they've always wanted anyways. Maybe this was the whole point with the eight of cups, that the reason they're acting out is because they're frustrated. They're pissed off. They want to go to school or they want to go outside. And so you're giving them that opportunity at the end of the month to go do something. Maybe you're going to go celebrate your birthday together, right? Maybe it's their birthday. Maybe they're also, you know, a Pisces. I have a lot of water over here. Maybe it's their birthday. And so you're going to take them out and say, you know what? Let's go out and celebrate your birthday. You're going to go do something that's nurturing and that's fun. Something that you can do together or maybe as a family unit, um, and it does feel like it's weird, but it does feel like it's going to change this outcome. It's going, it's going to, yeah. So don't see it as rewarding them with bad behavior because actually what you're doing is you're turning that table on these kids. It's a, um, it's a psychological thing, guys, and it does work, okay? But that doesn't mean, you know, you tell them, go ahead and go do whatever you want to do because that kind of psychological doesn't work. They'll literally go do what they want to do. Um, what this is, is just showing that, you know, it's time to go do something. What's the outcome? Looks like two of cups. There's a better reunited feeling. Um, and it feels like this is, this might be something that they've been wanting to do. They just want to get out of the house with the star card over here. Like I said, you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But this is all they really wanted to do was get out. Get out. They're tired. And yeah. And with the family, getting out and having some fun. Get out of the house. Get out of, you know, take a day off, right? Have, yeah, have, you know, new beginnings. Fresh new start in its own way. Showing them, you know, that I understand where you're coming from. Whether this is your husband, your wife, your, I don't, you know, it doesn't matter who it is. But no matter what, you're still... Look at that. You're still over here. Just beautiful with your emotions. But yeah, it looks like that's going to be the thing is just thinking about how you're going to fix the situation. And it looks like a day out the mall or going and doing something is really the way to do this. It looks like they just want out. So, and it's going to be healthy for the whole family. And that's what it says here too. Healthy for the whole family. Look at that. It was almost like this is what the whole family wants anyways. And it doesn't matter if it's just you and your child. That's the whole family, right? But it is this bonding. I feel like, like they need a little extra bonding, a little extra care. Um, especially if you're a single parent, you know, stresses are high. And even if, it, even if you're not, um, stresses are high at this time. And it feels like it could be working on the children. So even if it's not children involved, it's just you and your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever, um, whoever you see as the sun, it just feels like high stresses. People are acting out for it. So we need this bonding. We need this bonding moment. It's healthy. 
it's healthy and that's really what's going to go on over here aqua pisces is just some bonding time maybe take a, a little family vacation if you can afford it um going out to you know the zoo or a movie or just dinner the mall whatever right because that's really what it looks like it looks like high tense energy over here from this queen of swords whoever this is to you and this is going to change the sun it's going to change the destiny and the purpose it's going to cause some bonding okay and it's going to set emotions back on track now does that mean that your teenager is going to be if you're dealing with a teenager does that mean it's going to be wonderful forever <laughs> your teenagers guys <laughs> I mean you know it'll be great for a while you know until they spark up again right but at least that will help for a while um, for the bad behavior that they're doing because um, it looks like it's really just high tensions of being stuck inside the house being stuck not doing anything tensions are rising especially as it starts getting warmer outside you know in springtime my friends um, it starts energizing people um, and so it can literally, especially for definitely teenagers, that warm comes out and it makes them want to go be energized and go have some fun. So it just seems like they're kind of doing it and taking it all the wrong way um, as teenagers do. So teenagers being teenagers, right, my friends? Okay, so take it how it resonates. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.